Oh yeah, let's just have you right so over like here. Right here, like yeah. right there. That's perfect. Is that good? This is great. <laughs> We're off to a really good start. <laughs> Hi, I'm Amay Castle, and we're here in a galaxy far, far away at the Saturn Awards, celebrating the best of TV and film in sci-fi, fantasy, and horror. How exciting is it to be here at the Saturn Awards? I love it. I love it. I've been here before, and I love being here. Uh, I, I really appreciate that this is a kind of like an, uh, you know, a, an unappreciated genre of film. You know, horror movies and sci-fi movies. I've always loved especially sci-fi. Congratulations on your honor tonight. How much fun is it to come to an award show when you know you've already won? It's great. <laughs> it's really great. Just like all the nerve part of it is, is well, not completely gone because you still have to get up on stage and hopefully not make a fool of myself. But it, it is very nice to know in advance that people care. <laughs> and then he can't do that tired old trope like, oh, I didn't know I was going to win. I don't have a speech. He just like <laughs> sits down and writes it out. For the annual Saturn Awards, why is sci-fi fandom the best fandom? You don't meet fans like you do for horror and sci-fi and just hyper fantasy. I, we had this one lady at the convention last year in, in New York who had a trickle of blood coming down her face because she had fallen off her motorcycle on the way to the thing. Oh, for real? This wasn't fake? For real. And um, she was so excited to get Bruce Campbell's signature. She was like, I'm going to go to the hospital afterwards. I just wanted to come and get a signature. And you're like, you don't just see that in like, maybe you do for like The Crown or for like these sort of domestic dramas or House of Cards, shows that I love, but it's the fans, you know? People with head injuries don't usually do that kind of thing, right? Well, it's kind of weird. I've met one, but <laughs> maybe there's something about sci-fi and genre and even genre lit that, that feels like its own club that um, has wrongfully been marginalized at times. And so maybe that makes people feel like, well, this is a camaraderie in a club that we're going to support each other and we're going to um, support every type of creativity that anybody wants to show up with. And then you see it. <laughs> 44 years of Saturn Awards. Why is sci-fi fandom the best fandom? You know, I think that these are the stories that inspire a kind of devotion that's unlike anything else. And so you find that people are deeply committed and there's community there. They're so loyal. They're so incredibly loyal. And it's, it's, it's quite overwhelming at times because you really think, wow, these folks actually really genuinely care about the show. And it's just like, it's touching, you know, because you don't always get to see that with in different genres of different shows. You don't always see the fans like in, so visceral or so, even so like, in a person to person, there's so many people here tonight as well that are actually just genuine fans of sci-fi. Um, so it's, it's, it's really, it's really humbling experience to see that. Sci-fi fans are up for anything, you know, and and they're the people that are like, yeah, we want something creative, we want something crazy, we want something that's shocking, and I think those are my people. Like that's who I vibe with because that's how I am. Mind, who is the single most influential person in the sci-fi world right now? Wow, I. I have to say, and I don't know, I really think Sigourney Weaver, and... What a great answer! I, I love, I have loved all of her work since I was a kid, you know, I think probably Alien was one of the first sci-fi films that I saw, um, and she is just, in my mind, one of the first, like, gung-ho, kick-ass women. Who are you excited to rub elbows with tonight? Excited to rev with the Walking Dead cast. They're here. Um, excited to see them. Big, big fans. Um, well, you know, it, it was super exciting, kind of seeing like myself along and a bunch of the, the Riverdale people. Um, and hopefully, I'll see some of them there. I don't know. We'll see. It'll be cool. Can you guys point to a single moment in your past in TV or film, like the viewing thing that you've seen that maybe influenced your future career? Night of the Living Dead. Seeing Night of the Living Dead as a kid and going into my backyard and playing with my Legos. Night of the Living Dead. It's everybody's answer, but my sister made me watch Exorcist. And, you know, I never, I never quite got it. It would, like shook me to my core. Is there a moment that you can point to in your career that maybe like changed your trajectory in, in the sci-fi world? Like anything that you watched that inspired you? Yeah, you know what? I remember loving The Matrix when I was younger, and I love Trinity because she's a gorgeous, but she's not wearing like any makeup, and she's usually like very fully clothed. And I was like, what a awesome 
female character to be strong and capable and not sexualized. And I was like, I, I want to do roles like that.